So guys, right now I'm in Tampines and some of you have been requesting me to to show you how to rent a room in Singapore if you want to. So here I am to show you. So I'm going to ask the landlord some questions and the person that is renting the room, I'm going to ask him a few questions too and I'm going to show you guys the room. Good, let's go. So, can I take a look in the room? Oh, definitely, Vidan. Come, have a look. So, this is the room. Okay. Is, this. is that your closet? Yeah, this is my closet. Um, the beautiful mirror. And that's beautiful wait. you. Can you open it? Oh my god. Weird things at the back. What's this? The charger? The charger, <laughs> the perfumes, my jackets. Which and I don't use it in Singapore. Is this for work? Uh, this is my ID card from work. Okay. And by the looks, I think you love reading books. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't read much, but yeah, I'm trying to uh, take that habit. Okay. And which is really good. That's so, guys, now I'm with the person who rents the room. And sorry to bother you, uncle, but my name is Viran. So, how is it like here? Do you like it? Is it cheap or is it expensive compared to other places? Oh, well, I'm paying six, uh, $650 for this room. Uh, well, it, there are other rooms which are cheaper than this, but uh, the the build, the quality and uh, the look and feel of it is much better okay. than the houses which I've seen previously. So that's why I actually rented this place. Is this your favorite one so far out of all that you've been to? Oh, well, there was uh, another one which was my favorite. Uh, I was uh, staying in a, a old unit. I had taken the whole unit. Me and my girlfriend, um, we were paying 1800 But now the girlfriend is, uh, uh, she has gone back to India. So now I I thought like it's uh, uh, it's better to rent a room rather than the whole unit. Okay, so do they allow you to eat the food that they serve here or not? Uh, well, yeah, that's one thing like uh, I, I usually don't cook. So I have not taken the option of cooking and uh, the landlord uh, auntie over here, she is, uh, she is very passionate about cooking and sh so she wants the kitchen for all for herself and which is not a problem for me at all. Okay, but do they allow you to do they serve you the food uh, here? Oh well, sometimes, but my sh my work timings are uh, so odd that like uh, I won't be able to come for dinner or something. So, uh, well, yeah, uh, during the weekends when I'm at home, yeah, uh, auntie uh, does uh, um, bring me food, which is ve very delicious as well. And so, guys, now I'm with the landlord. So. Uncle, what is the price rate for this room here? Uh, we are currently staying at Tempnes. Uh, price room for the common room we are renting out at uh, $650. And so is the person renting the room allowed to cook? Uh, we do not allow uh, cooking for the common room we are renting out but then uh, if if we allow it then we'll probably charge like uh, 50 to 100 dollars more so are you allowed to share room like five people uh, in a room or something no, like that no we are not uh, no actually you can share room so uh, that way if you have like two or three people staying together with you in a room you'll probably end up paying lesser for the rental so instead of forking out like six hundred dollars per person, you'll end up forking like maybe two to three hundred. Okay, so like, is this place, is the room, re the clothes and things, are good or bad? What thing? No, like, is the area nice? The view from yeah, the yeah, the view is very nice. You can actually uh, have a look outside. There's a very nice park and a garden below. Okay. You can go down for a nice run or a nice walk in the evenings. So, is the 
a playground. <laughs> yeah, there is a playground and there is a basketball court as well. So, Uncle, what are the price rates at other places in Singapore, roughly? Um, if you are staying more towards the town area like Orchard and uh, Tanjung Paga and stuff like that, you'll probably pay like maybe a thousand dollars or something for a common room. Mm -hmm. Then, what happens if it's a condo or something like that? So, guys, now I am with Agent Raj. So, Uncle Raj, what are the price rates for the condos? If we are talking about individuals who are coming to Singapore to work in the medical field, or the engineering sectors or even expatriates in general. What happens is their employers will arrange for their accommodation in condos. But here's the thing, these condos are partially subsidized by the employers themselves. That means that for the original cost of the condo of four to six thousand dollars, the employers would have already paid for half the amount. So these individuals when they do come to Singapore to work, they will have to pay for the other half which is about two thousand mm dollars -hmm. yes then uncle raj what about the workers who come from the ship line and construction places okay so if we are talking about the individuals working as employees in the shipyard or in the construction sector so what happens is their employers would have already arranged for their accommodation in dormitories so these dormitories their original uh, rental rate is about $130 but these individuals the employees will not have to pay anything because it is fully subsidized by the employers what does subsidize even mean? subsidized means it is fully paid for so these employers will have fully paid for the accommodation of the employees alright so Uncle Raj thank you for your time it's my pleasure. And guys, do like, do comment if you want any.